free professional performances and classes for aspiring artists. I'm Jim Corner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Don Toll. He's the Education Outreach Coordinator of Cape May Stage. Thanks for being with us. Good to see you. Glad to be back. We have a lot to get to, and this is all free for families. All of these events free to the public, absolutely. Now, this is uh, done uh, through the state, and this is the 14th Annual Family Week at the Theater and Stages Festival. Uh, a lot of fun. Let's talk a little bit about what happens throughout March, because you have free performances, you have classes, many different opportunities. Right. Uh, these programs are made possible through the generous support of the New Jersey Theatre Alliance, which works with the professional member theaters all across the state of New Jersey during the month of March to promote arts awareness and outreach by offering these programs to, you know, communities that might not even be aware of them, let alone have the opportunity to experience them. So let's get into uh, some of the, the specifics. There are two uh, free performances intended for families. The first is Julius Caesar. This is uh, uh, March 13th. Yes, this is done by the Shakespeare Theater of New Jersey, all the way up in uh, Madison, New Jersey, and they have a Shakespeare Live touring production where they travel all across the area to different schools and community groups to do uh, abridged versions of famous Shakespeare plays. Last year they did a performance of A Midsummer Night's Dream, which was incredibly well done. It was fast, it was funny, the audience really in appreciated it, and this year they're going to be doing Julius Caesar, which should be even more inspiring, I think. In addition to that, Number of the Stars, and this is really a, an amazing story and a great opportunity for children to learn about the Holocaust in a way that they can understand. Absolutely, and this is especially because the main character main character of the story is a young girl named Anne Marie who is living in Denmark during the German, German occupation in World War II. She actually becomes part of, of a movement to get the Jewish citizens safely out of the country before they be, they're sent to the concentration camps. And this shows through her eyes how one person can make a difference in another person's life, even through the smallest things. And that one is happening on March the 6th. Let's talk a little bit about acting classes because these are for children children and adults. Absolutely. We have classes available for almost every age range of students from elementary school all the way through middle school, teenagers and adults. These are two session courses held on a Monday and a Wednesday. Each week in March is for a different age group and it's an excellent crash course for students to understand and to explore on their own exactly what goes into an actor's craft to see how they bring characters to life and tell that story to an audience. And again, these are free. Let's yes. talk a little bit about some of the radio readings this year. It's The Shadow. Oh, yes. These, this is brand new. The program itself has actually been one of our most well-received for the past three years. In the past, we've done live readings of radio plays such as Sorry, Wrong Number. This year, we're doing one of the classic stories from the pulp hero, The Shadow. And these are going to be held at different senior centers throughout Cape May County. And the performances, again, are free to uh, observe and enjoy. All right, so who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men, but the we can find out uh, with these uh, <laughs> free performances. They're March 7th, 14th, and 21st. And this is an opportunity for the theater company to really reach out to the community. Absolutely. Part of our mission at Cape May Stage is to make awareness of the arts and, you know, through our education outreach programming, appreciation of the arts more accessible to the community at large. Th there's actually a quote that I love that sums this up perfectly. This is from Oscar Wilde, who once said, I regard the theater as the greatest of all art forms, the most immediate way in which a human being can share with another the sense of what it is to be a human being. And I feel that sums up so much what's great about these programs. It's something new to experience, something to share with your family and friends and loved ones in a way that you might not have the opportunity to before. And an opportunity to uh, try out some of these classes or see these performances at no cost. And we just have a short time left, but you are still looking for student interns. People can still apply. Yes, we are. Our main stage season runs from May through to December each year, and we have a number of slots still available for students of college age or higher that are interested in getting directly involved with our theater. They work backstage and they get a chance to see what goes into it. Thanks so much, Don. We can talk, uh, we've been talking with Don Toll. I'm Jill Horner.